Well, recently there were fast cars and big stars up at Road America with NASCAR paying a visit to Wisconsin and a couple of crew members got to return to their home state. But they've done a lot more in life than just move away from home. Tim Van Voren goes beyond the game. To be a part of the NASCAR Cup scene is to live in the fast. I feel lucky to be here. Marlon Yoder's a mechanic for the number five car of defending cup champion Kyle Larson. His cousin Ruben Kaufman is a mechanic for the number 48 of Alex Bowman. They both grew up in Wisconsin in the Amish religion. I don't think I heard of NASCAR until I was 12, 13 years old. I started hearing a little bit of rumblings, but it was all like on the download because uh, we weren't supposed to be talking about sports. Good luck, Kyle. Good luck, Kyle. Oh, the cousins actually learned what all of this was about circa 2010 or so by listening to a transistor radio in the woods. They were hooked and had something to aspire to once they left the Amish lifestyle in their teens. My immediate family, all my siblings and my parents and, you know, all those are still in it. It's definitely a completely different way of growing up. You know, we grew up with no electricity, no cars. We'd work the fields with horses. I didn't know how to order at McDonald's. I didn't know how to order at, you know, simplest stuff. Like anything I did was new. It's definitely it's a complete 180 of a lifestyle of, you know, the society stepping in from that into this. At first it was, it was hard. At first it was hard to digest how fast things were coming at you. Not just on the NASCAR side, but just life in general. You know, growing up the way I did to now all of, all of a sudden cell phones, electricity, driving cars. It's a really, really fast paced life compared to how I grew up. To ask anyone around the overriding theme is the work ethic each man possesses. Marlon and Ruben acknowledge that work ethic is rooted in their upbringing, although neither wants to go back. Another characteristic evident in these mechanics is determination. We do only have an eighth grade education that has hindered us at times, but I think the biggest part of it is we are really, really strong-willed. If something comes up, we're fighting through it. We just, I guess, have the mentality that thing is gonna beat us. Last season, no one beat Marlon's team. He's a cup champion crew member. Ruben has gone from helping tear down barns for the first cash he earned in life after leaving his family to being right in the middle of all the action on NASCAR's greatest stages. The biggest thing is if I sit down and I, you know, reminisce with my cousin about how it used to be back home and how, to, you know, where we're at now and all that is, that's when it really hits you like, man, this really is a lot different. These guys are far from the finish. At Road America, Tim Van Boy, Fox 6 Sports. What an incredible story there from TVV. Ruben left the Amish lifestyle in February of 2012 and watched the Daytona 500 a week later, his first visual exposure to NASCAR after listening to those radio broadcasts. Marlon grew up during an hour and a half of chores on the family farm before breakfast, then another hour and a half after dinner, in addition to working in the family sawmill all during the day. He left his family and the Amish community at the age of 17.